we have seen introduction to linked lists and operations on linked list now we will see how to create linked list by inserting it tail position this create node function will allocate memory for linked list node on heap by using mlop function base address of allocated memory stored in new node pointer this new node function is not taking any argument so read the element from the terminal here the value will be stored within this new node data field Initially, newly created node link field will be null. This create node function will return new node address. So, this new node pointer in this insert tail function will be pointing to newly created node. Newly created node address is 1024 that will be stored within this new node pointer. Initially, global variable head will be null, means link list is empty. No nodes are added yet to this list. So, we are going to add this node as the first node in our link list. So, here head is null. If head is null, make this new node as head. So, here head is end with new node address. Again, we want to perform this insert tail operation. So, new node will be created and its address is stored within the new node pointer. See here head is not null. So, add this newly created node at the end of the list. So we need to find the last node within our link list. How can we identify last node? Last node next field or link field will be null because it will not be pointing to any other node. So take one temporary variable temp, assign head value to it. Advance this temp pointer if temp next field is not null. If temp next is equal to null means that is the last node within our list. So add this while loop to find the last node. At the end of this while loop, temp will be pointing to last node. In this case, temp next field is null, so temp will not advance since it is the last node. Add this new node to list at tail of the list. That can be done by storing the new node address in temp next field. Now see here, temp next field has 1040, previously it was 0. Now we have two nodes within our link list. Similarly, for this insert tail operation also, new node will be created. Here also head is not null, means link list is not empty. So add this newly created node at the tail of the link list. So again take the temp pointer, assign it with the head value, advance the temp pointer until temp next not equal to null. Here temp next equal to null. So temp will be pointing to this last node. We need to place this new node address in temp next field. So see here temp next field has this new node address 1056 previously it was null to add single node at tail of the link list every time we need to find the tail node means last node within our link list it will take n comparisons if we have n nodes within our link list so insertion at tail will take big o of n time if we maintain one more pointer tail to keep track of last node, insertion at tail will take big of one time. Right now, we have three elements in our linked list. Head is pointing to starting node. We have created linked list. Let's see how to print the list contents. Here, we are using display function to print the contents of linked list. Here, head is global variable, so we should not change its contents. It should be always pointing to the starting node within our linked list. So for that, take one temporary pointer, assign head value to it. While temp not equal to null, print the value within the temp data field. Then advance the temp pointer. For this node, temp is not null, so its content will be printed. So one will be printed. Then temp will be pointing to next node, this one. Here also again, temp not equal to null. So print the temp data it will print to then we need to advance the temp pointer now temp will be pointing to this last node here also temp not equal to null so print the temp data it will print 3 again advance the temp temp will be pointing to this null so temp will be null so after printing these three values now temp is null while loop will not execute while writing display function we need to cover one special case suppose if we call this display function before inserting data into list display function need to raise error when list is empty so add this if condition to this display function if list is empty means head will be null so if head is null print the statement list is empty this is complete program for linked list creation by using insertion at tail. Include this header file for dynamic memory allocation functions.
then this is the node structure for single link list initially head will be null means no elements are added to link list yet at compile time memory will be allocated automatically for arrays but for link list we need to allocate memory dynamically this create node function will allocate memory on heap by using this mlock function this mlock function will return base address of newly allocated block of memory if mlock fails to allocate memory it will return null that will be stored within this new node pointer with this new node pointer we can add data into newly created node here we are asking user input and here we can add data to new node data field initially new node next field will be null finally new node address will be returned to calling function this insert tail function will call create node function that will return newly created node address if head is null means link list is empty then our newly created node is the first node to be added within the list so make this head points to newly created node if list has already some elements then add newly created node in the last node next field the last node always points to null this while loop will advance temp pointer until temp next not equal to null if temp next equal to null then that would be the last node so after completion of this while loop temp will stop at the last node then assign the new node address in the temp next field by doing so last node will be pointing to newly created node this display function will print the contents of list we need to check whether list is empty or not if list is not empty print the contents of list this while loop will print the node data then advance the temp pointer until temp not equal to null initially temp is assigned with the head value if we execute this program here we call insert tail function three times so enter the elements to be added into the list enter the element for the second function for the third then this is our list